We're going to thin the coal black down with transparent black, which is one of my favorite wombo combos. Okay, that was open. Kenny, note to future Kenny. Close shit. So, transparent black is super black. And I, I basically treat it like water. Like I'm thinning this shit down. With, with basically black ink. But it's not ink. The Huff, isn't it bone white though? Yeah, I, mean, I guess. Look, I'm relying on you fuckers. The Huff, tell me what I'm supposed to do. I don't know shit. What I do need is my paint handle. I haven't done a pre-heresy Terminator uh, Dark Angel yet. Inua, thank you for the sub, homie. Haven't had a chance to play with the new rules yet, Mr. Pike. It's neither have I, but I got the California team tournament this month with uh, Matt and Demeki from Dice Check and Wyatt and Zach. So, I'll find out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna evenly coat this guy with just straight straight up black, and this was basically our primer, okay? But it's really black. It's not just coal black, okay? Just go for one even pass. It doesn't need to be opaque, and you don't need to max out your coverage. One pass to start with. Yo, it's my boy Linda right there. Sixteen months back to back, fellow streamer. Content creator, student, friend. Okay, what do we got here? Agreed with RT. Who's RT? Half the armor's black or bone. Black armor, red trim, and icon with accents, robes, wings, stuff like that. So white accents. So the robes would be white, and the, and, the, this, and the trim would be red, but the fields would still be black. Is that correct? Okay. I want to. I want to. I'm gonna bring the lore to life here. Just double down on this black. Just jam it in there, get it inside the recesses. Correct-ish recoil. What, what, what adjustment should I make? Brush needs a slight cleaning. It's getting a little sticky. Some dry paint on the needle. Yeah, it's like Ravenwing Terminator is like, right? They didn't paint their armor bone until something happened, right? Something bad happened. Just gonna hit it with some air. Just dry up what we have. Yep. 
go. Speak of the devil, there he is. Monument hobbies. Monument slow for you coming in with that raid. We'll just hit this guy with a quick wombo combo of transparent black plus coal plaque. So we onboarded the body of coal black, thinned it down with the incredible blackness of transparent black. I'm rinsing the pot out a little bit. Gonna get some of that out of there. Most managers to honor a unit of Terminators sacrifice themselves versus Tyranids or something. Yeah, it was something like that, right? I'm going to put some transparent black in the pot so it's pretty much raw dog transparent black. So this is cold black with transparent black. I'm going to do a little top coat of straight up transparent black. Just really want a nice super black here. The transparent black's not going to give you, like, coverage, so you can't just raw dog it over, you know, most things. But I used it to make the coal black darker, and now I'm using it to go even darker. Basically, it's a filter of ultra black. And with that... So, I'm waiting for recoil. I'm going to use what recoil says next. Recoil. Are the fields of the shoulders black? Is the trim what's red? You know what I'm saying? Like, just hit it with some air. What would the shield be? Would the shield also be straight up black? I feel like we could just do a really crisp work up here. Red cloaks. They do red cloaks, huh? Nice. Okay, I'm down. Let me dump the pot. Doing a quick hobo rinse. Recall some of the trim is silver also? Huh, okay. I mean, we can make this real easy, honestly. This could be a super easy workout. And still look really good. We just did a big ass workup that used a lot of advanced techniques, so I think it's fun to just go back to basics for a second. I think, I think that could be suitable. Parchment. Did I go through all my parchment? My parchments! I feel like I've got so much more parchment. They're always sending me parchment. There we go. Oh, these are the hydro ones. I don't like these. That's what I got. 
the reusable hydro foam or, or parchments. So on these, I like to get them a little wet on top. Because they're a little thick. So I deliberately kind of hit them from both sides. That's what I got. Okay. Put some transparent black down. Coal black. I'm just going to jump in and do... I'm going to be jumping the gun. But I kind of want to jump the gun. That's, that's... But I shouldn't. Okay, we got to cut in details. Oh, this is another opportunity to use burgundy. I fucking love it. Let's take some burgundy. Uh, let's get some Go old school. Let's go. So we're going to use burgundy. Mahogany. Let's engineer a little complexity into that. Some bold power red. Let's toss a little white here in the end, and then we'll do something about that later. Oh, come on. Just running over everything. Request is the red is definitely on the burgundy side. Yeah, I figured we want to do something a little prettier. Okay. I've got my brush. Some water. I rinse my brush. So what we want to do Crank the light for a second. But what I want to do is get some of this uh, mahogany blackened up. God damn. What's going on there? Is my camera fuzzy? I don't know. I just feel like it's just probably... Am I just blowing it out? I mean, it looks like, it almost looks like a smudge on there. Yep, look. Wait, maybe not. It's just the light. Okay, so let's just go with this brown. Maybe let's tuck a little burgundy into it. And I got, I'm just blowing it out right now while we lay this down. I'm gonna go hot and heavy right here. Pretty much raw dog right off the palette using the tip of my brush, laying it down as fast as I can. And it's smart to do this first because if you make any mistakes and you get on the black armor, it's just a matter of grabbing black and fixing it. Pretty easy. It's 
So that's pretty pretty hot and heavy right there. Okay, I'm gonna rinse the brush just real quick. Let's just pick up pure burgundy and jam some in there while it's wet. Just kind of smooth it out. We'll let that dry as, as a base coat right there. Let's run back up here. Let's get this thing going. Just block them in. Oh my God. Move. In my opinion, if you're painting a model black, this is just just paint a black, man. Commit. Oh, that's right. We didn't glue these on. <laughs> we have those pressure fit. That's convenient. Keep it going. Let's rinse that down. Get some burgundy. Let's just bully some burgundy into it. Gotta just go with the grain. Good base cut right there. Let that relax. Demeki, yes sir. Now, I don't know if there's an advantage to, leave, to not gluing these on, but they're not glued on, so fuck it. So we're using our brown burgundy mix right here. Mackie's a Dark Angel fan. Let's pick some burgundy up and just kind of stipple it right in there. It's the dark side. Is that the legendary War Pigment? My dude. War Pigment dropping a 20 spot. Thank you for finding some validation or some value in my work. Very validating. Thank you for the for the tip. Can I get some strong man love in the chat? War Pigment. Thank you. Let me run it back. Aquila as well. Got, got a bit by the bug and decide I'm gonna make knights my next army. Yep. Totally not cast base marines. Yep, the joke that continues to give. Rock Rid, what's up man? Thank you. I am having a good day. One second, let me move this. Filming black is always obnoxious. 
So he's got this big thing on top right here. I just don't know if that should also be red. I kind of feel like it'd be weird. I think we should move in here and paint this part red. Because it looks a lot like that section. So the inner trim wall right here. Let's paint that red. So yeah, leaving the shoulders off is helpful right now. Panic. Pretty RC Dark, Dark Angels. Tobacco says, I'm going to come up and wrap you in bubble wrap to make sure you're okay next weekend. Yeah, so I don't bust my back. Silver trim and red and white detail. Okay. So that should be silver? Eh, fuck it. We'll do other things silver. I get a little flown prover out here. Could use a little on this palette. Panic kid, thank you for the follow. Or panicked. Any idea on the shield? I guess they probably don't have any shield examples, do they? We're going high opacity, low moisture, just enough to get that spread. This is mahogany, black, and burgundy. There's a little bit of extra burgundy right here. We're doing inner trim wall right here. There's like a second panel. A little stippling right there. A little heart pull stroking right there. Let's get a little stipple action inside there. The sewing machine stroke. It's good. Let's come back here. Still drying because I went on super hot and heavy. Oh shit, is that my man JJ Whitesnake, the world famous comic, coming in with that raid? I'm gonna get some strong man love in the chat right there. Exclamation point hyphy for my boy JJ Whitesnake. You guys hang out with him the other day on Friday? World famous comic. Works at the Comedy Factory. Met him at a fancy. Hollywood birthday party. Caught up. Uh, he was uh, telling jokes in the kitchen for weed. JJ, I finished this guy that you saw the other day. You saw this guy on Friday? He done? Yeah, he was just like camping out in the kitchen, like telling a joke to anyone who listened for weed. It's crazy. JJ he says, yeah, man, it looks sweet. Thanks, man. I'm pretty happy with this completed piece here. Vet bod gaming gold or brass always looks good. With I was thinking I'm going to do some gold vet bod for Sheezy. The weapons usually have some gold or brass. Absolutely is going to be glorious. JJ says, well, well joke for weed. <laughs> JJ Whitehead. Uh. 
You ever watch Beer Fest? You're, my, you're like Barry Bandersnatch. Okay, so we just did some base coats. It's hard to see. Black armor always is. Got to wash it out. We're building up our reds right now, letting that shit dry. So what I will do is I'll take this opportunity to glue the arms back on because it's too. It's going to be obnoxious for the promo to not have the arms on the whole time. And I like to showcase these guys a little bit more gloriously. So we had them push fit. So I'm just going to put a little bead of glue in there on that void resin. And I'm just going to get this sorted out now. Okay. And even though it's going to be a little more challenging, I got some of the hard stuff done now. But I am not afraid of the challenge of painting around these things. Uh, especially for the sake of promoting Heresy Lab and Spiky Resin. Like I want the whole time I'm working on this model to look glorious. So, you know, I'll take that on the chin. Let that glue set for a second in there. And you see how glorious this guy is going to be. This is going to be a pre-heresy Dark Angel in, uh, Death, like, in Deathwing with uh, black armor from the, from the pre-heresy era. Love Many says, I used to do that in the 70s. <laughs> JJ stuck in the 70s. Love Many says, no wonder you're so good. Ah, uh, you guys are funny. Reference picks. War Pigment sent me a link. Let me look. A lot of silver. It's just too, too much silver. We're going to option select. Checkers, though. That's interesting. A lot of silver, though. Ugh. Maybe we'll do silver here. Okay, while the red's drying... Oh, we pivot for a second. We'll go with a with an oldie but a goodie. Turquoise on the wet palette. And what we'll do is we'll take some black, white. Oh, look, I made gray. Fucking goddamn genius over here. Put some turquoise in it to cool it up. Put some more black in it to gray it up. So let's just... And since it's a one-off model, I'm just going to do no metallics. No metallic paint. I'm using the big brush. Kind of dangerous. But again, we haven't done anything to the black armor yet. So any mistakes you make at this step, very easy to fix. Just erase it with black. So I'm um, taking the risk with the big brush to have that long workload. And I'll detail it out with a smaller brush. I'm base coating it with a cool gray. And we're going to say that that'll be a, an NMM uh, metallic effect later. But feel free on yours if you buy some of these. Uh, you know, you could do some assembly line, you know, just use silver paint. So you see, that can be a silver accent, tight, or a white accent quite easily. But they don't seem to have very many white ac accents. This is, you know, pre, they didn't, that wasn't a thing for them. Now, this skull right here. Same thing, we'll just kind of pretend it's silver until it's not. But it kind of integrates with this backplate. So here's the thing, it's not really a skull, it's a, it's decorative, right? Like, unless, they, unless they're going out there hunting down fucking gigantic people and taking their skull, harvesting their skulls for their armor. So we're going pretty hot and heavy, high opacity, some moisture. You 
see that now. Letting the red dry. And it seems like they like to make the wings silver, so let's do the same thing here. Seems like that's a predominant feature of the pre heresy artwork is silver wings. So we might option select to make the wings white and the sword silver. We'll see. For now, we're just locking stuff in. Nothing wrong with resetting things. You're going to paint later into a nice cool gray like this. Especially if one of the grays is going to end up being a silver metallic effect and one of them is going to be pure white. Works for both quite easily. And I'm not doing a great job of getting maximum coverage yet. I'm getting pretty close to the armor, but not all the way. Just a quick, loose, dirty top coat. Pow! One plus saves in chat with some player. Now, there's lots of trim also on this guy that, we, that can be silver instead of red. So that way we can kind of do both things. Okay. So I will rinse the brush and downgrade. What reds? Wild child or wild. Wild card. Nailed it. Uh, we got uh, burg uh, mahogany, burgundy, and, and red. So that's what we're doing. So let's take that same mix. And let's just say, how about these other things? We'll just do like that. Stipple right here. Stipple right here. Create neck, a lot, a lot of extra work for ourselves. And like I said again, don't get too worried about fucking up and getting it on the black. The black is currently just black. And it can erase mistakes quite easily. Shout out to Duck Bomb. Thank you for the follow. A little bit of that cool gray. Lock it all the way down. Let's do right here. Using the tip of our brush. Put it right up against the red and pull back gently to your heart. Rotate the model, facilitate that stroke. We are mostly opaque with a little water for spread. This one's hard to get because I glued the arm on, so this is my sacrifice right here. Now these right here, these skulls, I'll take these to white. So I just added more white to the mix, so it's, but it's a cool gray still, it's a very light gray. Same mix, just more white, same paints.
Just to remind myself, I'm going to do those white later. Same thing right here. I'll put a little bit more moisture in this to spread it easier. Also picked up more white well, since I was lowering the opacity. Okay, just picking out zones. It's got some pipes and shit. We'll think about that later. His sword. It's got a whole bunch of action on it. So what I'll do is uh, rinse my brush. Let's grab some of this mahogany. 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 And we'll just raw dog here over the leather wrap. Gets on his hand a little bit, no worries. Like I said, just cut back in with black and erase the mistake. Rinse it down. Okay, there's a little spot down here where the skull, belt buckle. Also, there is some trim down there, so I'm gonna throw some black back in the mix. Right here. Cut all this shit in right now. Some stippling right there. Rotate. Stipple right up on that trim right there. It's like a whole waistband. It's a bunch of little fun trim to paint. Talents, I only play 40K, never 30K. No, I don't play 30K. I do not, sir. Just a little bit of trim peeking down right here. Right here. Rotate, look for that heart pull. Got some trim on his little elbows. Got some trim on his gloves, tight, tight. Got 
Got a little on the black there. High opacity, low moisture. The reason it's a little tricky is because there's actually studs all along it. No matter how small the trim gets, there are three-dimensional bolts. So it creates a bit of an uneven surface. So it's uh, a lot of stippling versus smooth heart pulling. Got a lot. I didn't quite notice how much was going on here. Andrew's Armory in chat, what a player. So he's got this power fist hidden behind the shield too. Also, huge nuts and bolts right here. I might do those gold. Just keep blocking things in. Actually, I can do a second pass on the red. Okay, so now the red is, is queued up. Here's some straight burgundy. I should be able to just kind of bring this right over the top pretty easily. And just sketch with the fabric folds presented in the cape. See, and I'm just Locking it in like straight crayons. There should be enough respect there to be reasonable right now. PJ Pants, 40K. Yo, dog, sick of server in the business. That's my dude. <laughs> What's up, Doug? Alan PJ Pants. Alan can't pronounce his last name. It's impossible. What's up, man? How you doing? I know you had a good time at Adepticon. Congratulations on kicking butt. Just taking that straight burgundy. And what was there was mahogany with some black and some burgundy in it. And, there's an, and now there's enough of a link that we can just kind of raw dog burgundy right over it. Some stippling and some just rough heart pulls. And you get enough of a crossover that there is a blend, right? Brown plays really well with all colors, especially red. Some good base coats. The Laughing Jester is back. The legend. What's up, man?
Okay, so we got some red laid down and blocked in. We got some of the base application of some whites and some grays. What we need to do is get the golds or bronzes laid out. So we just did a lot of this on the rock monster that we just finished. So I'm gonna take some ochre. And mahogany. And a, an, a classic workup right here. We'll put some transparent brown or transparent orange down real quick. So we'll just use a combination of brown, ochre, and orange. So orange with ochre. Okay, it's a good starting place right there. Maybe a little bit more ochre. Okay, and what we'll do is anything we want to be in that gold spectrum, we'll hit, we'll base coat right now with this. And that's pretty raw. No excess moisture, it's just straight off the uh, Pro Krill hot consistency and the reason it has any kind of moisture or spread in it is actually from the transparent orange that is giving it a little thinner of a consistency because of its nature so a good base cut right there using my number four i'm using the heart pull strategy where I drag the brush back to my body, light brush pressure. Careful up against the trim, but again, if I get this on the black armor, I'm not really too worried because black will erase it because the armor is just straight black. And we haven't done any bonus effects, no highlighting yet, just laying out the base work showing basically how easy it is to get to a battle ready state on even a somewhat complex model some stippling right there some base coat base coat my orange with some ochre Okay, let's move on. Let's do stuff on the sword right here. Let's do the sword dick. Looks like there's a cool jeweled element to it right there. Just using mostly stippling right here. Now, looks like he's got some classic tri gems right here, which are kind of always a pain in the dick. But we're going to paint everything in this spectrum first, and then we'll repaint anything else. Got those kite shaped jewels. And a sword guard cross piece situation the uh, fucking thing that protects your hands I guess Looks like there's like a little bit of a. And this is why I haven't painted the skull yet, is because just a little bit of the that coupling hanging out right there. And we'll come back to that later, but base coated, base coated. Bob, Mike, Boing. This is Monument Hobbies, exclamation point, new heat. 
Exclamation point monument. Electro funk. Hilt. Sword dick. What? The hilt. This is the sword. This is the. This thing is called the hilt. Let's get these uh, fingers on the power fists behind the shield. You can just see them barely. So I feel like that's fun hidden accent back here. Bonus. Also, I feel like probably, I don't know. For sure though, I was gonna hit these. Locked and loaded with some base coats. Let's rinse the brush. The huff. <laughs> yep. Let's switch to the small brush. Scoop up some of the orange ochre mix. Again. Let's get this thingy. It's a little wet. Dangerous. He's got like a little like diver part hole situation. Cut that in. And plates of black on top of black here. And at some point. I'm going to want to get pretty much any nut on the black that is reasonable enough. I'm going to just stipple some of our orange on it so that we have a little bit of intrigue on those. Now I'll probably do it on a lot of the nuts, but I got to do more work on those first. Like on the red ones and stuff, I got to still actually paint the red. This is just some base coats. Let's make life easier later. He's also got on his helmet, he's got a mohawk, which might be sick to introduce a red accent in there. Let's rinse down. Let's run it back to mahogany burgundy. Right there, a little red mohawk. Let's that down. He's got boots with little uh, openings in them. I don't fucking know. What the fuck are we looking at down there? I don't know what's going on with these vents. I'm gonna let them ride for now. And I think what I'll do is maybe get this thing. Like this hingy thing.
We'll get that in this, you know, little accent part, uh, point right there. It's got butt latches right here. Hit those. It's got another one of these pipes. And we're going to just hit the point of entry into the armor down here. Yeah, let's rinse that. Ooh, let's rinse that down. Gon's the unjust. What's up, brother? Gonja, I feel like we're supposed to do a top T meeting at some point. Just because I'm doing another top T promo and I'm like, hmm, aren't we supposed to have a meeting? There's some trim I missed. Back to gray with blue in it. Right there. There's some stuff going on here, I think. Pipes, pipes. We gotta figure out the accent for the pipes. I don't know. Not bad. We got some decent coverage here. Gonzi and Jess, I need to get that on your schedule. Yes, sir. Jump in my fucking calendar, brother, so we can get your custom t-shirt. Let's do a follow-up on the fingers here now that I have a detail brush out. Rinse it down. There's a little trim there. Oh my God, come on. So there's our gray blue again. Using the tip of the brush. Opacity, low moisture. Carve that trim in best you can. He's got a knuckle skull right here so I'm gonna repaint that and while it's still uh, drying I'm gonna take a little white just dip the white in All right. Okay, so we we just got to get one more color kind of sorted out uh, before we do any kind of details. Obviously, hold on, I can do it right here. We got to get this guy. And we got to figure out pipes. And then we'll do the sword too, but I'll do the sword at the end. I like to pick the power sword effect kind of after we paint the model. So I know kind of like if I have an informed kind of opinion based on what how the guy looks, I want to do that. Go back to the yellow, the fake yellow for one second. And get a little bit of straight up mahogany. Okay. Let's take a little pure bold titanium white 
just so he's not soulless. Let's slice into his eyes. High opacity, low moisture. Yeah, this other one's really in there. I don't even know if that's even anywhere close to his other eye. Nope. <laughs> but I want to be able to like at least acknowledge. So can you even see that lens? No, man, that shit's in there. Let's grab the black. I'm just gonna kind of erase what I did there. Because what I did there was not paint his eye. I'm just kind of reshaping the lens shape. His other eye is like... I mean, like seemingly obscured. I want, but I feel like I can do something about it. Let me just see if I can, let me try, I'm gonna do another chance. I'm gonna just kind of guess. I think it's like way down here. And I, obviously I got it out of bounds, but I was willing to make that, take that risk. Go back to black. Kind of reshape it. So we have a little bit of little action in there. God damn, I think that's just nowhere near his eye. Kind of just spreading out the black a little bit. Kind of feel like there just is no visible islands in there. It is what it is. Uh, the Gentleman 14 with that raid. Yo, let me get some hype in the chat right there for that big time raid. Bold Rise 10. What's up, man? Agor, hi from the Gentleman. Look at this. Cheek Lens. That's right, Sacred Feth. Okay, so our base coats are laid down. We're pretty good. We just got to figure out uh, pipe color. I'm thinking green. Just to, just to get it laid out so all of our we're blocked in. So here's just some um, straight up green on my palette right here. If you're new here, this model right here is Heresy Labs. Exclamation point spiky resin. Doing a pre heresy fucking Dark Angel guy. Vanessa Miniatures. We're a bunch of Frenchies from Canada who are done talking about this weekend's AOS Grand Tourney. Bunch of French Canadians up in this chat. Now, I think that's my lineage too. My last name is like the Smith of French Canada. All right, straight up green. We will put some brown in there and some black in there because it's a great place to start to make your green darker. And we're just gonna gently, high opacity, low moisture, just hit these little doodads right here. Minimum moisture necessary to get that paint to spread, rotate the model, use the tip of your brush, just gently drag it back to your body. There it is, a green accent. Same thing right here, just heart pull down like this. Rotate, let's get close to the armor here. A little paint chunky there, we'll do a little stippling. Rotate, invert. There we 
go. A little green action there. He's got a few others we're going to jump in on. Hey, Gore says, by the way, seen lots of your painted stuff on Facebook. Your paint jobs are next level. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. There are a couple of hidden hoses right here. Just going to stipple along this seam right there. And again, this is our darker green where we just added black and brown. Some bonus hosage. Let's sneak up here, get these guys. Quick stippling. And we'll make those hoses a lot prettier when we're done. I just want a single relevant modern dark angel color, like a, like a nice green on here somewhere. And we'll, we'll make those not so strange when we're done. Now he's got one up top here. Let's grab a little bit more brown and black. Since this one is so big and predominant, let's just start a little bit more respectful. Very, very camo green. Very drab. That's the brush. The red ones. What's up? Let's take some of the straight up green. Just drag a quick line down the center. Like so. Classy little green. All right. We got everything locked in, base coated. We got to think about the shield more, though. You know, like black is the theme, though. I feel like, you know, when I, when I do all the edge highlighting, it's going to be fine. But it's hard, it's hard to visualize it right now. So Pre-heresy action. Don't know what color the sword's going to be just yet. Probably green. Probably a green power blade, but we got to do tons of stuff. This is just, hey, we're bad already. In this section, we could do a little light glazing. Since we already locked it into a pretty good state. So we got some water, got some burgundy. We'll go back in time, put a little of the brown in there. Just to get a little closer. Take some of that moisture off. And let's just kind of bring a nice transition up from the bottom here. So it's not just so carved in, as you can see. But most of it, it's pretty easy. You don't have to do much. Just this big flat section. I just want to give it a little bit more of a natural progression. Let that dry for one second. Recoil, PayPal isn't working for you on Streamlabs? Oh, yikes. That sucks. Well, sucks for me. <laughs> Fucking stream labs. That's that's unfortunate. Vaughn, PayPal's not working for you too. Did it do that thing where it took turned off my PayPal again? Remember it did that fucking last couple months ago? Where it was like, ah, you gotta update this or you know you can't take payments. Let's see if there's any notifications in my PayPal. Let's see here. Uh, 
I don't see any notifi notifications. So it's not that? I have an alert on sales recovery report. No, so that's not, it's not an alert. PayPal wasn't working for another purchase from another site, Zeus? Uh. So PayPal's doing something fucked up? Yeah, I don't have any notifications from them. Well, that's unfortunate. It's not like I need PayPal to work in order to buy groceries and shit. <laughs> so we're down to just credit cards on Streamlabs? Ugh. Yikes. Well, that sucks. Well, credit card only for until PayPal gets their shit together. So we have a nice subtle transition there. So what I'm going to do is grab some burgundy. It's a bow pyrrole. And I'm just going to kind of split the difference between the two and draw some tight, tidy little lines. High opacity, low moisture. And we're respecting the workup. We're not going straight to bow pyro. We're still sharing the responsibility with burgundy. Or pigment. PayPal not found. 404. Or pigment, thank you so much. Did you have to use your credit card on that? I appreciate you. Hold me some love, man. Exclamation point. High feet for my boy right there. So we're just building it up slowly, War Pigment. Love minis. Yep, she confirms it. Just subtle movements toward Bow Power Red. Showing it enough respect. Same thing here. We're gonna put more of it kind of in the center and just kind of skinny it up as we walk back. Again, this is our respect mix. Gone's the unjust. True American Hero says, Gone's the unjust. Is testing out PayPal. Nope, not working. <sighs> Thank you so much for helping me out, brother. Throw me some dollar bills. Confirm PayPal is busted. Credit card only. That's what it looks like. Real shit. I ain't trying to have people pay interest on supporting me. So we're just dropping sharper edges there. See that? Again, splitting the difference. Gone's the unjust war pigment. Finding our little respectful highlight range. Got a little in the black right there.
Let's rinse it down. Let's grab a little bold power red. So it's mostly bold power red now. And just be very classy with this. Still has some burgundy in it. Little residual from our wet palette. High opacity, low moisture. Gonge and War Pigment. Frozen Hobbit. Let's do it. Let's, let's double down right here. Now on the small stuff, we could just take the bow power red, high opacity, low moisture, and we can drop a quick tracer right here, right up against the dark edge. Hold your breast winger from right to left. Trace that rail. So, right, too close to the camera right there. there pretty easy workup I like capes like this and really Love painting sharp angles like this. It's really real simple and fun. Running the tracer technique, one of our edge highlighting paintbrush control strategies we teach. See how I like to rotate the model so my brush is always just moving the same direction. This is how we get those skinny straight lines every time. Tracing that bevel. Always take that second to rotate the model and skirt that edge with some high opacity, low moisture red. We're gonna use the heart pull strategy right here. Right on that seam. Just the tip of our brush pull back to our heart. Rinse it down. Get that red off. We still got 30 minutes left. So we're gonna go one step further. So we got the bold pyro. We'll take some white into the mix. We're just going to carefully 
Sharpen these edges right here. Got a little wacky. I'm going to just wet it up a little bit. Now I'm going to smooth it out in a couple places. It got a little wily. Go back down to the red. A little on the wet side. And we're just going to blur out the pink we established. Give it a, a red filter again. So, I'm going to jump back in to the pink. Let's rotate like right here. Let's get some real sharp edges. Right there. Right there. Let that relax for a second. We go back to right. Something a little darker than that. Still a little on the pink side. Right there. run it right here on the rail just on the tops of things but right there or right there Maybe run it down the side here. We'll go a little brighter. While it's still a little on the wet side, take a little of the red again and fuzz some of that out. Some with a little bit of wet bow pyro. Sharpening those edges. Again. Right there.
Might as well run back here just real quick. Moisten up our mix a little bit. I'll do some final inspections. If I gotta reshape any of these lines. Back to some red, just nice and thin. Just kind of walk in the shape of those highlights we created. Smoothing it out just a little bit. Okay, rinse that down. Now I'm gonna do something a little crazy. I'm gonna embrace the pink. So I, there's a lot of ways to do this. I can do that with yellow, oranges, you know, ultra red has a lot of different techniques. Right, so I took I took it to the white. It's desaturated, but I'm gonna resaturate it, but this time. I'm going to use transparent red, which will have a slight magenta hue to it. So I'm going to take the, the, the transparent red, thin it down substantially. And I'm going to take that some of that moisture off and I'm going to repaint with this filter of transparent red our highlights. So instead of it being a desaturated pink, we're breathing a little saturation into it but not changing it into like a yellow and orange or even back into its straight up red state. What we're doing is allowing the magenta quality of the transparent red to infuse those high points. And really ramp them up. It's just like a, you know, very low opacity filter of transparent red. Same thing here. I'm even going to go a step into transparent red with some white in it and bow pyro. And I'm just going to Bed, a very subtle, magenta hued highlight back into the centers right there. Right there.
She's using high opacity, low moisture. Something just a little bit different from than from our normal ultra red. Now, he's got a little mohawk that I never painted. So let me just take a quick second. To lock in a little bit of a perimeter there. And we still have about 17 minutes left in the show with a broken PayPal. And three people in the final four for a top T promo. Tight. Take a little white. Let's get real precise here. Handed. Go back in time. We haven't done any black highlights yet, just getting our reds to pop. I feel like there's like a shelf up here I have to address. I'm just kind of using my reds here. So there's a seam here. That needs a little highlighting, you see? right there too Carve that in a little bit. Let's take the bold power red. Let's go back down to the brown, thin it down. Because we were using mahogany at the very beginning. got some pockets of maybe slightly too brown. Let me get a little bit more mahogany in here. Just bring a little bit of uh, burgundy back into the mahogany. All right, all right, looking good. Let's take, uh, let's take a little bit of this green we have on the wet palette. Put some water in it. And let's just touch his eye. So he's got it so it's not white anymore. I'm gonna reshape with some burgundy. Troll bits, what's up, man? 
take some thin burgundy and just kind of reshape that taper on that highlight. There we go, some nice real popping red. Now, on these bolts up in here, should probably run it back to our blue gray that we made. So I'm gonna just start with uh, a darker position. Using our stippling. Tip of the brush, sewing machine stroke. And my man put nuts everywhere. It's a lot. Ooh. A black blue for the win. Cletus, Seth, what's up, man? Sneak in right here. And just stipple on those dots, which is the tip of your brush. So I have 11 minutes left in our show. PayPal busted. Shit happens. Kind of got, so we got the red pretty well curated in 11 minutes. Know what I can do now. Let's take some of this ochre. And we'll step all these guys. They're not so shitty looking. Right there. Straight straight up ochre. Let's go with put an ochre there. Milk was a bad choice. Milk is always a bad choice. Somebody. Jay Duval, nice hey, scene. Dark... Oh, oh, hold on. It's two people. Cats, rub your dicks on the car as you're running left. We are going to have sex in your car. It will happen again. Yo, let me get some strong man and woman love for the red ones. And Jay Duval. Can I get some. Hype in that stream. Nice seeing Dark Angels before they became traitors. J. Duval, thank you so much. The Red Ones, thank you so much. The bot's probably going to shit on somebody. We'll stand by for that. It's going to shit on the, the Red Ones. Love Minis, can you give the Red Ones 540, uh, 540 Yodogs, please? Thank you guys so much. Is that PayPal back on, or are you guys just being really nice and using your credit card? Thank you. 
Bob. What's the name of the red you're using? It's, uh, I'm using mahogany, burgundy, bow power red. It's my main. So anyone who was paying attention, we took our mahorange and we created a quick little tri-blend. It's bright, dark, bright. We didn't even blend it. What we'll do is take a little bit more of the ochre and a little white. We're gonna do it again. So we're leaving it bright there. And then right down at the base where you can see it peeking out. If it gets on the black, don't worry because we haven't painted the black yet. It's just black. A little bit more white. We're using pretty much pretty high opacity here. See, just a crisp little heart pull right there. A little bit more white, high opacity right there. Got a little on his armor down there. That's fine though. Jay DeVos is credit card, credit card. Oh God, PayPal. PayPal's dildos, the red ones, Jay DeVos. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Appreciate you guys pulling out all the stops. Let's get a little bit more white, less ochre. Right there, frame it. See, we're not even really blending it. This is all just over that brown orange mix. We're just giving ourselves a nice hard lip right here. On that porthole. I'm gonna rinse that off now, recoil. In my eyes, Dark Angels are actually the most loyal of Space Marines. <laughs> the most brainwashed for sure. It's like, bro, these dudes just wanted to fucking do their own thing. They get hunted down for all for for all eternity. Let's take the ma the mahogany and the orange. Remix my orange. Wait, that was red. Wrong. Orange. Mahogany. Water. Lower the opacity. Take some moisture off. And just blur that shadow into the highlight slightly. And some of that orange will pop out now. got to go a little bit more into brown. Right there. Right there. Got to be willing to go pretty dark and pretty bright at the same time if you want it to be shiny. About four minutes left. Let's take a little bit more of our 
ochre. Thin it down, take some of the moisture off. Stipple it in right there. Just kind of bring it back. Be a little bit more opacity. The trick with doing this is just don't really deviate too much from the the palette, you know, and you'll pretty much always be fine. Just do a quick little tri-blend right there. And now what you see kind of we've just kind of workshopped where we're going with all the gold stuff on this model. And because his face is so important, like looking right at his face, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a really good job on it. So I'm gonna take some brown again. Blur that out a bit a little bit better. Real easy. Now I'm going to take, is this one transparent black? Or is this one transparent black? Here we go. Take some black. And anywhere I got gold on him, on his face by accident, I'm just bl blacking it out right now. We got a little bit on his red up here. And we're almost out of time, guys. No overtime, no PayPal. I'm just carving the yellow off of places that we got it by accident. And right there, specifically, I'll need to bring some red back in. God's the unjust. Gosnia just coming in like the legend that he is. And I get some strong mail over there. PayPal is lame. Yo dogs, however, freaking rock. Thank you, Gosnia just. Put a little overtime on the clock. We got two minutes left in the show. Thanks to Gosh pulling out the credit card. Looks like he's going to save the show. Thank you, brother. Let's take a little transparent black. And let's just make sure that our. Dividing line is nice and black. I think it is. Now, if you want to get fancy, war pigment, ganj, take some of the transparent black and just touch it to the center of the brown and blacken it up a little bit. Okay. You gotta get swifty in here. It's time to get swifty. Oh uh oh. You gotta get swifty. Oh yeah. So mid at 49 because War Pigment Daddy. just cause troll. Shit on troll. Gonzian just thank you guys for putting over some of the clock. And so you see how shiny that gold just got from that slight blackening? Same thing applies. The, the closer to black you down to go. And closer to white simultaneously the shinier it is so i'm going to really just make sure that our prime viewing angle here has a little pure white on the tip as well a little pure white I just pulled out some fresh bull titanium white with a minute left in the overtime clock. And we just popped it a little further. You see that? So we're just using um, a, a classic workup, guys. If you're just tuning in, it's 
mahogany, transparent orange, mahorange. And we use ochre. And then from there, progressively introduce white. Go back and forth on the spectrum. With 25 seconds left in overtime, what we did was a classic pinwheel. Bright, dark, bright. New plane. Bright, dark, bright. So it's just a tri-blend pinwheel. And we're going to go through on all of this stuff and do the same kind of thing. And it's an effect that's simple to do. We're out of time. Thank you, guys. We were able to put down our base coats. We were able to get lock in our basic color palette. We were able to do some fancy reds on this pre-heresy Dark Angel Terminator. And we were able at the last second to just do a little of our non-metal metallic gold we're going to be doing on this workup. On these big fins here, power fists, this shit right here. That's it. It's not a whole lot. And then we're going to do a version of that in silver in the grayscale for some of these other things. And it's just a one it's one model so I can put that kind of time into it. But if you understand the technique glazing, edge highlighting, pin washing, and you understand the procedure of this effect, it's actually not that big of a time sink though. It's more of a time sink than just metal wash, obviously. It's just not that hard. But you got to have that technique of glazing kind of locked in. So we're going to make this guy just look incredible utilizing that strategy. And then at the end, we'll edge highlight the black so he looks incredible. So, you know, he's going to have some really neon edges and some cool techniques.